I'm here in San Francisco, California because I am the CEO of a charity, UK-based charity called Plastic Oceans, which we set up about two or three years ago. And we've been making a cinematic film for the last two years and I'm on a fundraising exercise to secure the remaining funds. The film involves filming um, plastic in the marine environment around the world. So we've travelled to Sri Lanka, to Tasmania and to many other regions to identify just how extensive the problem of plastic is. And uh, we've been shocked by what we found. We've had some of the world's top scientists who have um, uh, examined whales, they've examined the bird life in remote areas and without fail they found extensive plastic in the guts of those animals. We have the backing of some very powerful um, groups, not least of which is UNESCO. We showed our ele an 11 minute trailer of the film to 300 delegates at the headquarters in Paris recently and these are uh, very senior and potentially very powerful delegates who were shocked by what they saw and we were approached by many people saying you need to show this in schools we want to work with you to raise awareness and they said and, and whenever I've traveled around the world one of the stories that keeps coming back to me is that have you heard about the Pacific Garbage Patch? Everyone seems to have heard about the Pacific Garbage Patch and so our response to that is, uh, yes, we have heard about it, but that's not the problem. It's not a garbage patch. It's not about big pieces of plastic. There are, there's a lot of plastic in the marine environment, in the Pacific, in, in, all, in the gyre, but it's in all the gyres, in all the oceans, and it's not as visible as you imagine. It's the little bits of plastic that break down and get into the food chain. So I've had people approaching me saying, look, we want to recover plastic from the ocean. We want to go out and throw nets over these plastic islands. And I've even had a major oil company propose that to me. And I said, well, you may, you may want to go out to the Pacific and see what you find. There isn't a major island. There is enough plastic out there to be concerned about, but it's the stuff you can't see you should be concerned about. So there's a level of ignorance at many levels within the corporate, within the social hierarchy, which has surprised me and disappointed me. And if we can uh, try and break down that, it's not indifference, it's lack of awareness. If we can change that, I think people, when they know, will want to change it. And we filmed uh, Sir David Attenborough, who is extremely well known in the UK and I think is also well known in the US. And he regards this as one of the most important films of our time. And he says quite categorically that his experience, many years of experience about environmentalism, to use that word, it, I don't think he'd like the word because he regards it as, as really just watching the world around us, etc. That when people are aware of the problem, they want to solve the problem. And what we want to do is make people aware of the problem. So that's really why I'm here, uh, to raise money to finish the film and make people aware of the problem.